You want a megaphone to announce that? Call me Batwing. Hello, and welcome to another marvelous video. Today, we'll be exploring the origin story of someone from the famous Bat family from Gotham City. The Bat family is an ever-expanding team of some of DC Comics' most highly trained heroes. With the Dark Knight at the helm, it appears that Batman has enlisted more heroes to his cause than the previous Justice League lineups combined. However, while characters like Robin and Nightwing are well-known even among casual fans, others, such as Batwing, are overlooked despite bringing much more to the game. But today, we won't be talking about the the original Batwing, we will talk about the second, who is also the current Batwing, Lucas Fox. So fasten your seatbelts as we ride down the streets of Gotham City, or in this case, Africa. Before we go into our explanation, we have a very small request. If you like our content, please support us by subscribing to our channel. This is a small click for you, but for us, it means a lot. Thank you, let's begin. Batwing 2.0 Origins As we've already mentioned, Luke is not the first Batwing. That accolade goes to David Zavimbe. David was from the Democratic Republic of Congo and was selected as the Batman of Africa by Bruce Wayne, who was aiming to spread the scope and success of his fight against crime throughout the globe. This version of Batwing ran his own series for 19 issues until he realized that Batman's method wasn't for him. He returned the armor as he had to quit for personal reasons. As a result, Bruce returned to his original option, Luke. Luke knew that he had to find a way in when Batman announced his Batman Incorporated concept, so he began participating in MMA fights and cage fighting in order to catch Batman's attention. He also once saved Bruce's life. Luke's attempts made him Batman's first choice to receive the mantle of Batwing, but eventually, Batman decided to go with David Zavimbe instead. Luke Fox is one of the most recent characters to appear in the DC Universe. Unlike other characters, he has no pre-Flashpoint past. The character was established after the new 52 era had basically worked itself out. He initially appeared in Batwing issue 19 and had his own solo comic for a little over a year before being shifted into the Batman Eternal Weekly plus size comic series and subsequently into James Tynion's Detective Comics inaugural rebirth run. Luke Fox was born into a wealthy and influential family. Casual fans may recall his father, Lucius Fox, as the inventor who helped Batman in Christopher Nolan's Dark Knight movie franchise, played by Morgan Freeman, but in the comic world, he's also the long-standing CEO of Wayne Enterprises and a crucial ally in Batman's war on crime. Lucas had inherited his father's intelligence and was very bright. Luke graduated from MIT with dual degrees in engineering and business management. He immediately received hundreds of employment offers from all over the world, including one from Wayne Enterprises, his father's firm. Lucas, on the other hand, had a different dream, a dream to join the Batman Incorporated. However, this goal earned him the wrath of his father, who was outright that his son was passing up so many opportunities to fight in brutal cage battles to please Batman. After David Zavimbe departed from the cape and cowl, Luke's wish came true. Batman swiftly sought to recruit Luke as the new Batman of Africa, which Luke happily accepted, disguising his new position as a year-long trip to the mother continent. Disturbed by his son's irresponsible behavior, his father became enraged. Things heated up quickly, resulting in Luke angrily leaving his house. Marvelous Story Arc of Batwing, The Batman of Africa In Batwing Issue 20, we see Luke Fox fighting off a swarm of Marabunta warriors in the Democratic Republic of the Congo in the Great Continent of Africa. Where else did you think Batman of Africa would operate? The Marabunta are a group of high-tech army and themed militants that primarily operate in Africa. Luke promptly dispatches their boss, and Batman orders him to find out what she knows and report back. According to the lady, the Marabunta get their high-tech weapons by illegally mining and selling diamonds. However, Luke does not report this information back to Batman. He chooses to investigate and shut down the illegal mine himself, where he almost gets attacked by a bunch of vicious Savo lions, whom he had to put to sleep with tranquilizer darts. Then he clashes with Lion Mane, the vicious warlord. Lion Mane believed his three wives could easily overpower Luke, but when they were beaten, he attacked Luke personally. Lion Mane's flurry of violent assaults results in a horrifically epic combat that almost kills Luke. Luke exhibits numerous martial arts styles with little impact, but finally utilizes his sharp brain to outmaneuver Lion Mane. He used his weaponry to shock him and then sprayed a powerful pepper spray on the warlord's face. Eventually, he had to call in the Batwing Tumbler to defeat Lion Mane. 
Aftermath, Return of the Marabunta Army. Luke returned to Gotham after narrowly escaping Lion Mane and chose to see his family for supper. He has another argument with his father, who is unaware that his son is the Batwing and is irritated by his apparent refusal of a job offer at Wayne Enterprises in order to travel to Africa for many months. Following a tense debate, the Fox family proceeded to dine, which was interrupted by a Marabunta attack. The Marabunta had managed to get beyond Lucius Fox's home defensive systems. Luke began to worry at the Marabunta attack was payback for foiling their intentions back at the diamond mine, and if they had somehow discovered that he was Batwing. However, he soon realized that the troops were uninterested in him because they did not attempt to murder him. He took down several Marabunta soldiers without wearing his Bat costume. During the scuffle, though, his father was taken. Luke phoned Batman and informed him of what had occurred. He was then told not to get involved, to his disappointment, and to let Batman handle the problem. Luke then began searching for his mother and sisters in his parents' damaged house. When he discovered them, his mother Mother urged him to stay and keep an eye on the home until the police arrived, while they sought refuge elsewhere. Luke later realized that his father produced a lot of tactical gear for Batman and determined that the Marabunta were seeking Lucius Fox primarily due to his involvement with Batman Incorporated. He then donned his bat suit and caught up with Batman. They move on to find the Marabunta by tracing a tracker implanted in Lucius Fox. In case a situation like this ever occurred, tracers were planted in all top-level Wayne Enterprise personnel by Batman, including Lucas, Lady Marabunta, and a swarm of her men confronted Batwing and Batman as they penetrated the Marabunta lair. Batwing dispatched a number of soldiers and left Lady Marabunta to Batman as he searched the premises for his father. Batwing discovered his father strapped to a chair with an ant-like metahuman trying to drain his consciousness via a giant ant larva mixed with some form of technological wiring. When he eventually found him, with time running out, Batwing decided to act swiftly and flung a few batarangs to cut the connections, not knowing whether or not doing so would kill his father. Thankfully, it did not. The ant-like metahuman was readily vanquished after being stunned by detaching Lucius Fox from the larva. Arrival of Lady Vic Luke sought to return to watching over his parents' house after ensuring that his father received medical treatment. When he came, the police were waiting for him, and his mother and sisters were furious with him. The house of Luke's parents was invaded while he was out helping his father. His mother chastised and lectured him on responsibly pointing out that she had specifically asked him to keep an eye on the house while they were away, and he had failed to do so. Boy, it's tough being a superhero. Later, he goes on a makeup date with his ex-girlfriend Xena's Lenko. She dumped him the very day he returned from his Congo mission, since he didn't bother telling her he was going to Africa for many months. Despite giving him another opportunity, she informs him that she just consented to his makeup date to terminate their relationship officially. Luke suits up after observing someone escape from an exploding building after Xena has left. When he gets on the site, he encounters the assassin Lady Vic. The dangerous mercenary hoped to face the Batman and was really unimpressed with Batwing. When the two first fought, she could rival him in combat and could easily beat him by shutting down his power suit with an electrical disruptor. Vic departs the scene after knocking him off the building where they are fighting, but Luke was able to plant a tracer on her and survive the fall by reconfiguring energy to activate his wings. He chooses to return home and modify the suit, so it does not rely so much on electricity. Upon returning home, he got back with his ex-girlfriend, Xena, who was upset as her father had passed away. They became intimate in the showers after Xena professed her feelings for him. Anyway, getting back to serious matters, the next day, he phones back Batman and requests access to a bat bunker to modify his costume. He spends most of the day in the bunker, modifying the power suit. He then tracks down Lady Vic. She had purposefully allowed Luke to put the tracer on her and was looking forward to his arrival. Their battle was quick, as Luke acknowledged that she was a stronger fighter than him, and that he had no intention of fighting her. After a minor scuffle, he suffocates her with fear toxin and interrogates her before departing the scene just as the cops arrive. He discovered that Charlie Caligula hired her, as well as the Marabunta, who abducted his father. Hot topic. While fighting crime under the aliases Batwing and Batgirl, Luke Fox developed a romantic relationship with Barbara Gordon. The Rebirth Storyline Initially, Luke had decided to put Batwing on hold while focusing on his business. However, following Tim Drake's death, Batman summoned him to utilize his technological knowledge to rebuild the Belfry and complete the renovations Tim was working on. When Luke becomes involved in the Victim Syndicate fight, he decides to join Batman's new squad as tech support and Batwing. During the League of Assassins, 
assassin's raid on Gotham, Luke helps the Batman family fight the League, but he is captured with Azrael. When Luke is let free, he deactivates a mini nuclear device that was supposed to destroy the city. Lucas began secretly building a replacement suit by recognizing that his buddy, Jean-Paul Valley Jr., or Azrael, was endangering his sanity by wearing the Suit of Sorrows. He concluded that the main challenge was discovering an AI with a benevolent moral code and the power to oppose the hostile AI Ascalon. Unfortunately, Jean-Paul had surrendered to Azrael's spirit amid his efforts, and in collaboration with Ascalon, he seized control of many of Lucas's Batwing suits in order to murder him, Orphan, and Batwoman and impose divine justice over Gotham. However, after a brief battle that ended with Zatanna and Batman arrived, Jean-Paul was subdued, and Lucas discovered the solution to his difficulty. As the Batman family debated what to do with Jean, Lucas decided it was time to divulge his plan, unveiling the new costume for Jean-Paul, and stating that he intended to utilize Batman as the new AI template for Azrael. Other media appearances of Batwing. Cameras Johnson portrays Lucas Fox in the TV show Batwoman, which is set in the Arrowverse. Following Batman's absence three years ago, this version of Lucas guards over Wayne Tower. After meeting and making friends with Batman's cousin, Kate Kane, Luke helps her battle crime with his technological expertise and gadgetry throughout the first season, until she too disappears. In the second season, Luke helps Kane's replacement, Ryan Wilder, before becoming Batwing to aid her in defeating Black Mask. Lucas Fox also appears in the 2016 animated Batman film, Batman Bad Blood, where he is voiced by Gaius Charles. The story explores the character of Lucius Fox in depth. Also, it shows his transformation from just a civilian to a crime Fighter in order to avenge his father, who was attacked by the Heretics' gang. We see him joining hands with Batman and his gang in order to take down the dangerous gang. How powerful is Batwing? Luke Fox, like the other members of Batman Incorporated, lacks extraordinary talents. He instead depends on other abilities such as his sharp intelligence, excellent combat proficiency, and a power suit equipped with different electronics. Batman provides Batwing with a range of gadgets, weaponry, and technology to aid him in his struggle against crime and corruption. His Batsuit is armored and has regeneration and adaptation abilities, as well as wings that allow him to fly or glide. He is also incredibly highly trained without a weapon, making him one of the most dangerous contenders in the Batman world. Since he works as a cop, it is assumed that he acquired basic police training with the help of the genius detective Bruce Wayne, and let's not forget that he did get into MMA. Speaking of his gadgets, he carries the usual, you know, batarangs, grappling guns, etc. What's unique about his devices are his vapor bats, which are mechanical bats that emit sleeping gas to knock out vast numbers of opponents, and his immense collection of gases like the toxic ghost pepper spray he used on Lion Mane. Unlike the other Gothamites of Batman Incorporated, Luke Fox's Batsuit is a full-body armor that covers him from head to toe. One key reason for this is to conceal his identity from his father, Lucius Fox, who created the costume. The Batsuit has the following features, faceplate in its entirety, armor that is bulletproof and shock resistant, an internal skin with vital sign monitoring and medical healing capabilities, cloaking device and wings that retract which are composed of an undisclosed material and can provide Luke with flight by gliding along air currents. Batman has granted Luke access to his own personal automobiles, which he will use on his globetrotting excursions. The most iconic is the Batwing Tumbler, which, like the iconic Batmobile, is outfitted with front-mounted weapons, missile shooting capabilities, thrusters, and gliders for flight, and can even climb up walls. In addition, it is extensively fortified and impenetrable. He also rides a Batwing Cycle, which, like the Batwing Tumbler, features front-mounted cannons for fast shooting, an armored body, and unique wheels designed for on- and off-road maneuverability. It is also capable of reaching extraordinary speeds. Luke has an engineering degree from MIT and has demonstrated tremendous aptitude in this field, diffusing a mini-nuke and designing a new Azrael suit for Jean-Paul. He also redesigned his own suit. Marvelous Verdict Under the shiny metal armor of the Bat, whether it's the original Batwing, David Zivembe, or the current Batwing, Luke Fox Batwing is a unique and inspiring hero, not only because the mantle is associated with being the first version of a Batman from Africa, but also because both wearers' ability to effectively and efficiently carry out Batman's mission in high-tech fashion. So, while David may be retired and Luke is still developing, the mantle of Batwing will always be available for the proper individual to take up the battle. Who is your favorite? member of Batman Incorporated? Let us know in the comments below. And if you liked our content, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to us if you haven't already. Have a good one and be safe. Thanks everyone.